<laughs> okay, no, real talk. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> um, this is basically your semi comedic relief slash informative on certain topics show that we call Pretzel and Rico Go Crazy. As I've shared in my pilot episode, I was in a crew and Devin was in that crew with me, along with some other good buddies of ours. This is Hi. Yeah. B-Boy Pretzel and mm. B-Boy Rico. So, yeah, we just figured it was a catchy title, so that's what we're gonna stick with. And we go crazy. We talk about food or b-boy. It's not like it matters. You're asking edit. me to decide. Yeah. <laughs> well, I yeah, mean, we can't edit we it. We can't edit it, so yeah. we can we can put it in whatever order we want. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Saw that coming. That's good. That's gonna go in there. <laughs> you can see the whole thing. We got a good chunk of most of the um, what was happening for uh, Silverback. It's a b-boy event that happens in Philadelphia. It's a third edition. Uh, and just to be clear, uh, I hate sounding like a young political correctly kind of person, but it is b-boying or breaking. It is not break dancing. Sorry. It's not. Like a break dancer is someone that does it just for the fad. Mm. Whereas a b-boy is someone that actually lives the culture. They they teach one another. They <clears throat> go to battles and whatnot and yeah. And they represent they, real culture. Real culture. Real hip hop best. culture. Your best. I wanted to say congratulations to Thesis and Narumi for winning their respective, respective battles. And tomorrow there will be the three on three battle also. I'm pretty excited for that. But uh, that's what we watched so far. And it was pretty intense. For the rest of us, I feel like our generation automatically thinks that we can judge everything. Especially since we're all on cyberspace now, I guess. Yeah. So we feel like we can just give our opinions freely. But something that I feel, I feel like me and Pretzel here, we at least observe a little bit. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree. And even whether we are credible in our own eyes or in other people's eyes, I don't think that really matters because everyone's entitled to have an opinion about it. Mm. But at least we we don't go on savage rants about it. <laughs> yeah, because like the thing is, um, it's, it's a dance. Mm -hmm. And so, we don't have the same eyes as the official judges do. Uh, even though with that we see something differently from the judges, it's not really our call. So whatever happens, you know, respect the judge's uh, opinion. Respect the judge's call. And most of us don't have 20 years experience under our belt anyway. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen, bro. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You know what else is crazy? I am. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy over. And he is, I guess. He's this. John Soda. John Soda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a little crazy about it, let me tell you, okay? <laughs> He's laughing because it's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. John Soda, they have like this. Train! Gary and I, uh, we went to school at. <laughs> Gary and I, we went to school at BYU Idaho. And um, one of the things that Joan Soto was doing at the time was they had this reward system. And one of the prizes was um, if you get 300 bottle caps of, well, of course, Joan Soto, is uh, you'll get a free Go GoPro. So. This was going on for like maybe a year or something, or even less than that, for like maybe two semesters. Yeah, I collected them for about two semesters. Yeah, two something semesters. Like so he was asking people on social media, like, they had any ball caps, give it to him. Um, he was even going into 
Oh my goodness. He was even going into like recycle bins and searching for Jones bot Jones bottles just I, for the caps. I was not dumpster diving. He was not dumpster. I was not dumpster diving. He was I just dumpster reaching. <laughs> That is a little more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> They're in recycling bins. They're not in horrible, smelly, trashy bins. Yeah. yeah. I, want, I, I want to drink something real quick. Cheers. Well, anyway. Uh -oh. I also won a contest online that got me six, uh, six <sighs> bottles. <sighs> Uh, for a contest, and I was able to put my picture, a picture, on the on it, and I could choose the flavor. And I gave one of those bottles to Devin, and Devin so happens to have it right here. Uh, show it to the camera. See, try to show it to the camera here. You talk about Power Rangers trailer. Oh yeah, the Power Rangers trailer was pretty good. I still am very lost as to how this is gonna go. I don't know what to make of it. It's the cast looks like very different from what the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was. And I don't know what to, I don't think it looks bad. I just don't know what to think of it because reboots right now seem just like a scary thing these days. You never know if they're gonna be really good or super bad. Yeah, very true. So In my opinion though, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. The way how I'm taking it as, it, they're going by the first season of the Power Rangers, which is like what I grew up with, but um, they're modernizing it. So, um, I'm sure you saw a couple crazy moments with us. Um, we will probably get a little bit kookier. So we, you know, we talk normal, we talk crazy. This is just us. But I like to have a buddy that I can conversate with. That's, that's what we do. Anyway, so now, uh, if you want to just subscribe below uh, to Yes, and you can also look us up for Rico Pretzel and Rico Go Crazy, mm -hmm. we will uh, bring you more because we have a dream, and I am not Dar I am not Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep family on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you like the the video that you're seeing right now, please let us know. We'll keep doing more of it. Yeah, definitely do that. All right, guys, so thanks again, and we'll see you soon.